right. Thank you again for coming together this evening to rededicate Old Main, the heart of this campus, a building that was first dedicated to serve the students, faculty, and staff of Augustana in 1889, 124 years ago. Old Main has always been beautiful and majestic. Its iconic status at Augustana, knowing that thousands of students have taken classes here for over a century, makes it so. And you could see glimpses of this beauty and magnificence in the gorgeous stained glass windows and the dome. Its landmark status dates back Thank you. It's my privilege now to ask Dr. Parkander to share her historical views of the building and its significance. I first came to Old Main in September. 1942 as a freshman. Clearly then, Old Main was the pulsing heart of the college. Here were the offices of the registrar, the academic dean, the dean of men, the dean of women. Here were faculty offices and classroom space for courses in the humanities, the social sciences, religion, philosophy, mathematics, art, even shorthand and typing. Here the orchestra rehearsed and college debaters and college orators honed their skills on the third floor. Each weekday, faculty and students met for a 15-minute assembly in the two-story chapel with its pulpit on one side and its organ on the other and in the center the beautiful stained glass window, letting in the morning sun. On especially fortunate days, the speaker for five minutes would be President Bergendorf in his elegantly uh, crafted homilies. They would range in, in appeal from uh, the flowers of St. Francis to re remembrances of the first landscape gardener on campus whose name was Swan, and who planted his wonderful arrangements by the phases of the moon. But by the end of the 1950s, Old Main had to change. Fireproof stairs replaced the great curving wooden staircases that reached from the first floor to the third. The addition of the Fine Arts Building and of Centennial Hall made possible the transformation of the chapel into much needed classrooms and faculty offices. This fall, 
we welcome an old main that has been designed to meet the strenuous demands of the 21st century. But Old Main holds too, as you will see when you visit the second floor forum, a benediction in light and color, a benediction remembering the daring of the first visionaries and dreamers of the college. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Parkander. And now it's my privilege to ask President Balls, the president of the college, to come and share his words. Thank you. Good evening, friends. This is a day we've all been waiting for. What a wonderful day, and what a special symbol of Augustana College. Would you raise your hand if you had a class in Old Maine? Wow. I bet that virtually every living alum of Augustana College had a class here because this is the heart of the college. I would also bet that for five generations, for over 125 years, that virtually everyone that attended Augustana College had a class here. That is why Old Main is the most special building on campus. You know, when I came to Augustana 11 years ago, I was told by the Board of Trustees, we need to do something to fix up Old Main. It is the symbol of the college, yet it does not reflect the excellence of the college. We retained some architects. It was about 10 years ago to do an assessment of the building, and the architects said to me, you know, the dome has about five years left because of the state of the timbers. That's five years if there's not a stiff wind in the next five years. So we did the dome first. Then we asked the uh, uh, faculty. We said to the faculty, you know, we need to renovate the inside. They welcomed that. And we said we're going to do it in two pieces. We don't want to inconvenience all of you. We'll just inconvenience one half of you at the time. The faculty came back and said this building is such a special building and the project is so urgent that we will all relocate to Sorensen Hall. We'll relocate our uh, classes. We'll teach at odd hours. I want to thank the faculty for enduring the time of construction and for their vision to get this done sooner rather than later. Faculty, would you raise your hands? And speaking of uh, thank yous, I want to thank the city of Rock Island. The city of Rock Island on all of our projects has been wonderful to work with in working with zoning in helping us through the intricacies of renovating a historic building. Mayor Pauley and Alderman Joy Murphy are here. Mayor and Alderman, would you raise your hand to be recognized? There you are. Yes, thank you. I'd also like to recognize our uh, Board of Trustees. Usually I recognize our current uh, Board of Trustees, but I'll tell you that in fact this has been talked about for 20 years, the need to renovate Old Main. If you're a current member of the Board of Trustees or a past member of the Board of Trustees, would you raise your hand to be recognized? I'd also like to say a word about Estes uh, Construction. Estes Construction is the construction firm that not only did the dome, but did the old inside of Old Main. I want to thank Estes Construction for the wonderful job that they did, but I'd like to recognize the workers of Estes uh, Construction. These men and women that worked in this building for well over a year put a lot of love uh, into this building. They enjoyed the renovation. They were proud of their project, and in fact, they were connoisseurs of maintaining the feel of a historic building, but having a modern inside of the building. The workers for this project were wonderful. I've recognized the faculty, but I'd also like to recognize the Augustana students. The Augustana students last year were having courses in odd hours in all corners of the campus because our largest classroom building was shut down. Students, this is a dream that we have had for you, that you could study in a historic building, a building that virtually every graduate has studied in, yet you would have a modern building well wired for new technology. 
We dreamed for you students that we would combine history with a respect for the past. That is why we have opened up the stained glass windows in the old chapel area in such a special way. This building blends the traditions of Augustana College with the needs of our students. But especially I'd like to thank our donors that made this building possible. As you walk through this building, note the names on the plaques outside of virtually every office and virtually every classroom. You know, it was Swedish Lutherans that had the vision 150 years ago that at some point there would be a prestigious building at Augustana College. It was parishioners funding buildings like this initially by putting a quarter in the offering plate, a dime in the offering plate. Maybe a big donation was a dollar in the offering plate. They raised the money until the reality was realized. They came up with a schematic for this building which called for a brick building, not a stone uh, building. The Rock Island Railroad saw that uh, schematic and said, you need to, in fact, have a stone building to appreciate the grandeur of the area using local stone. And the Rock Island Railroad funded the stone in this building. Then the founders determined, you know, it's not enough to have a building that's a copy of a building in Uppsala, Sweden. We are both Swedish and America. American, we need a dome. And that is going to cost $4,000. And they extended their campaign. My friends, this new dome cost more than $4,000. But it has been donors that have made this happen. And then we've gone to you, many of you in this group, and asked us to help us realize the vision of preserving the grandeur of this building, yet making this building very, very functional for our students. And you have stood forward again. We thank our development office for this event. We thank those of you who have made this event possible. This building has served five generations of Augustana students, and may these renovations serve another five generations of Augustana students in the grandeur that we have enjoyed. Thank you very much. Friends, as is our uh, long tradition, and it's a 153-year-old uh, tradition, when we dedicate buildings at Augustana College, we dedicate buildings with a prayer. It is through the bounty of God that we were able to, in fact, build a building like this. Richard Priggy will dedicate this building with a prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we praise you for your grandeur and faithfulness, mirrored before us now by this grand and solid building, Old Main. Now that the limestone has been cleaned and the dome redone and lit, now that golden accents have been painted on, wood paneling affixed, the latest technology installed, and ah, the stained glass uncovered. Now that Old Main has been undone in order to be redone, we recommit ourselves this day to the substantial soul work that goes on in this sturdy, solid, beautiful building. In a world that beckons us to dehumanizing pursuits, we thank you for the humanities so lovingly carefully and creatively taught and learned in this place. For all that humanizes us, that calls us to a higher and more noble vision of what we are meant for, we thank you. And we pray, make us like this new old Maine, more solid, more beautiful, more humane. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Pastor Priggy. Uh, thank you all for being here, and we encourage you to tour the building, enjoy some appetizers inside, and time with one another, with those who share a love for our college. Thank you. <laughs>